What's up everyone? Welcome back to Battlecruiser with my Tucker Master. As you can see, I have come back to Europe and it's time to continue the series here. Our MMR is at an absolute peak, almost 5.3k. We're going to be trying to get as much as we can in just a few more episodes. Let's begin. All right, game number one, a 4-5 Protoss player on Neo Humanity. Now, hopefully this is going to be a nice warm-up. I do still have to get used to my setup over here. It's always a little bit different. Uh, you know, the monitor is a bit different. The audio is even a little bit different. So I'm, not, I'm not sure if you guys have experience with this, but when you're recording in a different room and you hear yourself different, it's like a little bit distracting. <laughs> Typically, I play, you know, a couple of warm-up games on a new setup, but this time I haven't, so I guess we are going to be unrusting as we speak. Now, I do remember that our favorite build against Protoss was a double gas, so I'm going to do that. That's one thing I can make sure that we actually get the dub here. It's like, even if mechanically I might not be as sound as usual and definitely still gonna be pretty good but maybe not as sound as usual i can make sure that tactically this game is just perfect that seems like uh you know the best path to victory here so i'm gonna be going for a double gas it's neo humanity probably should try to map out already where i want to build my planetaries in the future and stuff though i have to say a lot of the games against Protoss, I feel like, are very, very chaotic. Instead of being... Like, when we play against Zerg, very often we just get... Ooh, that's an early probe scout. Uh, we very often get those very, quote-unquote, standard... As standard as it can be with Battlecruiser with my macro games. Where we do get a million command centers, and then it's a little bit more predictable. I can predict the macro game, but against Protoss, very often... They do some kind of weird attack and I teleport my battlecruiser in their base or I have a mind drop that kills a million probes and they all in me. It doesn't really get to those standard macro games as frequently, so maybe that's not something I should be planning for. Maybe I should just be trying to be as clean as possible early on, I suppose. Gonna get a little bit of HP damage on that probe, that's always nice. I haven't SCV scouted myself, but that is probably fine. Maybe if I'm lucky I can hit it one... No, okay, he did turn the corners properly. There we go, and now I'm gonna pull it back. Uh, as always, he's probably going to be hiding the probe. It, it is really funny, actually, that this used to never be a thing. People don't really hide workers next to their opponent's base because they think he's just going to die. But nowadays, they do it, I, I want to say, even 80% of the game. So uh, I'm going to try to look for it. If you can find it, it's already going to be a pretty good start. I feel like it's always a bit of a mental blow because why people hide a probe is to do scouting, right? So if you kill that off early on, they're going to feel like they're playing completely in the dark. And if you're lucky, that could even mean that they didn't prepare to follow up scout at all. Like, maybe they didn't even send an adept across the map, for example. Like, just imagine the feeling of you sending a reaper across and not getting any scouting while relying on that reaper 100% for scouting. You're just going to feel like you're playing in the dark. And you're just going to end up having, yeah, to take some gambles, pretty much. Okay, I'm going to go for my starport now. I'm going to keep the reaper here because I didn't find the probe. Obviously, it's possible he didn't send the probe. He didn't hide it at all. And he's sending an adept. But I still think it's good to keep it there anyway. I don't necessarily need to scout the tech yet because I am playing double gas. I'm even going to skip two marines for the depot. I don't think I've really tried that before, but I always notice the build is just a little bit rocky. So here we go. I'm actually going to skip one marine for the SCV even. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm being crazy now. I, I, I think it's smart, but I'm not sure. I'm going to put the mine a little bit forward so it might catch the adept. Well, it's not super far forward. It's just a little bit more forward than normal. I, I do remember that this map is always hard to scout on against Protoss because you can very easily uh, wall off the Reaper. It's literally just one gateway, not even a pylon. Normally, you need a pylon. On this map, you don't to wall it off. So, uh, yeah, usually it's pretty difficult. I'm going to put one mine there. He didn't try to wall it off, though. That's very nice. There's a Robo. Um, and I was going to say, it was at the timing that there's probably also a Twilight, and there it is. My opponent's build is definitely uh, pretty good against what we're doing here because he's going to have Blink. And observers to scout. I think the observers should... Yeah, it's definitely going to arrive at my base before uh, the battlecruiser even finishes. So he's going to be able to respond to that pretty well. Uh, how many marines do I have? I have three marines. I'm going to make two more. And then I'll switch the factory over there. And I think we just need to hope that this Widow Mind Drop does well. Because his build... It actually... Oh, wait. Wait, he took a... Where are, where are these probes going? I was going to say, did he take this base already? But then the probe was going to the watchtower. I was actually very confused there. Why was it two probes too? Can someone display this to me? I don't know. Uh, I was actually going to say, I think he's doing a four gate blink. So he's going to take the watchtower with that probe. And the reason why I think that is because of the robo timing. The robo timing was very early. And that's what you do when you're going to go for a four gate blink attack. That's the attack I'm always scared of happening. Uh, and usually it doesn't happen, but here it might. There's not a lot. He doesn't have a battery, but there's not a lot of gases at the same time. Yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna predict 100, 
that this is a 4-gate blink, but it could be. Okay, so I have another Widow Mine there. Might actually get a shot off. I'm actually going to hide this. Can I? I feel like I've struggled with this before. Maybe I can hide over here. That'd be nice. Wait, I'm just going to scout this base a little bit instead. Let's see. There's not that many gateways. There could be two gateways at the front, though. So I can't be overconfident. Let's see if we can hide here. I mean, it's just one bit of mine. Oh, you actually can. Okay, that's perfect. You know, I don't want to be too crazy here, but it feels like the kind of game where a hidden expansion might be smart. If we are going to get attacked by Blink Stalkers, then we're not going to be able to take a third base normally at any point. I'm going to make a second bunker here. Not because I'm 100% convinced it's 4-gate blink, but because I would need it if it was 4-gate blink. I'm going to send one SCV forward. Yeah, 4-gate blink is one of those builds that's really hard to read by timing, by the way, because very frequently, not trying to be mean to my opponents, but it hits like a minute late even, which is obviously a pretty massive deal. Now, the Observer should have been here by now. I haven't actually seen it yet, which is unfortunate. Oh, there's... Wait, there's a lot of gateways going down, you know? And one forge. I'm actually just going to do it. Here we go. I'm going to teleport this one here. And then I'll drop the Widow Mine as well. See if I can do any damage with it. The oh, the Widow Mine is actually going to get a shot off. No way. Oh my god. How did... I don't even know how that worked. That looked like he was so well prepared for it. But still, it did a really good amount of damage. Can't believe I'm actually just freely going with this hidden expansion as well. I didn't even really give it any second thought. I was just like, yeah, I guess my SCV is here right now. Why not? Um, now, I got more battle cruise on the way. He does have a lot of gate, which is just scary. Wait. Just, okay, for a second, I thought he just moved all of his stalkers away. I was like, holy crap, this guy is brave. Now, I should go for an engineering bay. This SCV was here sent uh, to figure out if stalkers were going to attack me at the front. So, he has this base, surely. I, I don't think he went for this one because he uh, would have had it a little bit earlier, I want to say. But he does have that base. Now, since we haven't been attacked, I'm actually going to move this command center back over here. I actually really like this adaptation that I'm doing. Now I got a second battlecruiser over here. This one I'm going to fly it away immediately because he does have stalkers really close. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, I'm actually going to take a little... Yeah, well, not that bad. I was going to say I'm going to take a little bit more damage than I would have liked. Uh, but I'm still only yellow HP, so that's pretty good. And then here, he still has a bunch of uh, stalker. Yeah, he's doing a really good job defending now. Like, he took some damage early on. Whereas now he's doing a great job. And I'm going to go for the typical move. Uh, actually, he does have the watchtower with the probe. I'm pretty sure about it. So maybe... I should clear it out with the SCVs first. But I'm going to do the move. I'm actually... Gonna... Wait, can he see that? I'm not even sure that was too close. I might have put these SCVs too close... Or these Widowmites too close to the ones that I was thinking about. Yeah, there we go. I think he probably saw it. I'm not 100% sure, but he probably... Well... Actually, I don't... If it's so close, actually, I can't even tell. Now, my main priority is actually getting these... Um... These planetaries up, especially this one in the middle. Now, I'm just going to go here and see what we can do. Do we want more Widow Mines or what do I want exactly? There's no gas. That's a really big tell. The no gas means um, that he's on a really high gateway count. How many? Wait, there's actually no stalkers there. He didn't really keep anything there. Yo, these Widow Mines are doing fantastic. So he has a really high gateway count, which means that he could attack us pretty early and it would be very strong. Uh, now, Zealots are not really our biggest worry. I'm more worried about just... You know, five gajillion stalkers attacking us. So, uh, I mean, the planetaries are really what's, what's uh, what I need. Yo, these Widow are actually doing fantastic. He hasn't mined from that in ages. It's technically possible that he has that base too. I'm going to start the center tower here. Put all these Widow Mines here. Because he might not... Oh, actually, guys. I could put these on the ramp. Normally, this is a crazy idea. But I feel like with how hectic this game has been, it's quite likely he sent his observers back. And if he does go to attack me because he has no gases, then he can actually run into all of these Widow Mines and that'd be crazy. Now, let's see. There's nothing here. Oh, he is making Star... Oh, okay. Now, our plan has to change. Teleport out, please. Oh, my... How... Okay, that's that's not legal. That's actually... Cra How did that even survive? That's insane. There we go. Um, yeah, Starports or Stargates by him, that is a pretty big problem. That's going to send us into the macro game. I... I'm very tempted to just teleport a bunch of battlecruisers in his base because I have a couple more at home, but it's probably not the best idea. Oh, wait. He's not paying attention. Okay. I mean, if he killed it, that would be insane. No, he doesn't have a battery. Now we have to teleport back. Okay. Now it's going to be a very difficult game. Um, I'm going to get two more starports and drilling claws. Drilling claws is going to be essential here. It hasn't really been essential so far against Protoss. But, oh, okay. So he has an observer in the middle or on the right side. Or did he... Maybe retake that one. No, okay, he does have an observer, yeah. Not enough. Just walk into it, man. Come on, you know you want to. Now he's not going to do it. Okay, that's a lot of Widow Mines lost. Uh, I'm going to have to be very smart with my unit movement here. Against Tempest, you never want to be pinned down your base. 
Because then the, the Tempest just get infinite value. I want to bait him back to his own base all the time. Wait, he might not pay attention to this. Oh, well, he's been very good at that, you know. I feel like this was a decent distraction. Because uh, he cleared all the Widow Mines. I kind of thought he would never expect even more Widow Mines to be there. But he did still defend it, so that's really well done by him. Drilling Claws is on the way. Uh, I don't really need infinite mines. I just kind of need enough mines that his Tempests have to run away from them. Or that I have enough mines to actually catch him uh, if he doesn't run away, right? Because if it's just a few mines, they just get killed by the Stalkers and stuff. I do think our supply is looking pretty healthy. His Stalkers are really far out on the map, so we're going to be able to do some damage here. Tempest also can't get too close. Here we go. One of them is going to die already. Going to teleport that one away. Oh, he doesn't good amount of tempest here let's see if i can save all of these well wow, they actually all survive again oh my goodness this must be very frustrating for him and that is going to allow me to get this planetary up too which is fantastic let's start repairing these battle cruisers i need to actually get armor upgrades as well for those planetaries um and maybe yeah turrets i'm not sure if it's worth it i mean it's decent because he won't be able to just fly over and kill them but they do die fast the tempest as well if they have the upgrades only plus one attack yeah, this is just going to be a fully-fledged Skytos game, I think. I'm not sure if either of us can finish the other player anytime soon. I'm going to start... I'm not actually sure about mining this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I mean, once the planetary gets up, it's going to be all right. If the planetary doesn't get up, that means Zealots can just walk into my base. I have to say, I'm very surprised he went for the Tempest fast without taking those gases. That's probably a little bit of a mistake, but I guess if it works, it works. Now, this planetary you're not going to kill, I can tell you that much. I really like that he also made an oracle, by the way. Like, I, I love the way he's playing right now. He didn't just go for the Tempest. He also went for the oracles. And more than anything, I think this is the first Protoss player that has been brave enough to actually try and go to the late game against these Battlecruiser with a mine, right? Like, most... One player tried to go for Tempest. I, have to, I don't remember who, what his name was, but one player went for Tempest. Uh, and he actually died before because I, to be honest, accidentally attacked at the perfect timing. Uh, but besides that, all of them just try to win fast and none try to go to the late game. But this guy is trying, even gets an oracle out so he can uh, reveal my battle. Like, please stay to the edge, else the I was going to see you. Um, so he can reveal the battle cruisers and then actually shoot them with a tempest from a li really long range. I am getting a little basis already, though. So he saw this command center. I'm going to try to fly it to the corner to save it. You stop what you're doing right now. Uh, planet okay, I was going to say it's going to finish in time. It was already finished, which is very nice. That command center is barely going to survive, I think. Might also burn, though, so I don't want to speak too fast. Let's see. Ah, uh, you did get another blink, right? Yeah, it's barely going to burn. Okay, that's unfortunate. But if he's not ready for this, he's going to lose another base. He he's keeping all of his steps at home. He's definitely playing it on the safe side. I know he has the base in the middle. I'm actually just going to try and, and go here, I guess. I don't really have another place to go. Yeah, okay. He's very... Oh, man, that is so many Tempests. This, this is going to be a big challenge, guys. Now, our upgrades are good. That's for sure. Um, I'm going to even make even more factories. Normally, I don't do that, but I need the Widow Mines here. Are you sure you want to attack this? I mean, these Battle Cruisers are going to beat the Stalkers. I know Stalkers are good against the Battle Cruisers, but they're not that good. Okay, so I'm just going to try to fly away. I'll just get a bunch of Yamatos and, and Blink back, I think. There we go. Oh, good Blink timing by him. I think he killed one of my Battle Cruisers. I actually explained this in the comments at some point, but Blinking against Yamato, you can actually dodge the Yamato. But you... Oh, that's a matter of fact. But you have to do it after the Yamato is already launched. If you do it before, the Yamato still tracks you. So you need the perfect timing for it. And he did find it. So well done by him. Let's start getting some more orbitals. I mean, my macro is obviously going to be pretty good here. I've had a decent amount of practice doing, you know, a million command center battle cruiser strategies. Are those... The okay. I think now is our moment where we can make stuff happen. Because I have so many Widow Mines. Like, really... I have so many freaking Widow Mines. I could have canceled that. I didn't. That's unfortunate. Uh, he's probably going to fly away from these Battle Cruiser Vans, I guess. There we go. Where are the Tempest exactly? Oh, he's even making cannons. Oh, okay, this guy is going for it, man. I love it. He really is going for it 100%. Now, look at these Widow Mines. I know there's an Observer here somewhere. I don't know exactly where it is, so that's a bit annoying. Okay. Okay, are you guys ready? Here we go. We're coming in. Oh, he's actually... No. Wait, maybe I can actually catch a Stalker. That'd be really weird. That's not what they're for, but... Hey, actually, that worked. Okay, let's do some Yamatos, and then I'm gonna... Wait, I don't even really need to. There's still some of these Widow Mines up, so I can also just go for this base over here. There we go, let's kill this. Oh, I think that's only one pylon, right? There's two pylons. Let's see if we can kill this base. I mean, if we can kill this base for losing all those Widow Mines, it'll be worth it. Um, just because I can rebuild them fast, and I have way more bases than this guy. 
So I don't have to be worried about losing these widow mines at all. I'm gonna get my 3-3 as well. Maybe I can even go for the main. Ah, oh, no, he's a little bit too close already. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blink all the way back. I was very tempted to blink here and try to kill that base if, if it was even there. But uh, I don't think I had enough widow mines to chase the Tempest down. And now, if you guys don't know why this is so hard against Tempest, now you know, guys. It's it's incredibly hard. Tempests are so good against battle cruisers uh, that it's just never gonna be easy. No, I think I might... No, I don't. I was going to say... Oh, I do, actually. I thought I had one battle cruiser that uh, was not on teleport cooldown, so I'm going to use that one to scare off these stalkers. Kind of annoying to lose all these uh, SCVs and command centers being delayed to the stalkers all the time. Uh, once again, I really think this guy is doing a fantastic job, and I'm loving this game so far. Get a few more SCVs over here. I mean, my base saturation is starting to look very good. It's not perfect, but it's very good. We have 90 SCVs, which is fantastic. Let's get a few more Widow Mines around as well. Uh, I might have to start sacrificing SCV soon because now I have, I'm have i going to have 15 Battle Cruisers when my next one finishes. And 10 Widow Mines is not really enough to flank. I don't know how many Tempests it is, but I'm going to guess it was about a quadrillion, quadrillion Tempest. I need to be very careful for that. He's staying very passive though. I guess he's going for... Yeah, he's just... I think he's maxing out on Tempest and I don't mean he's maxing out on... Star yeah, he is... Guys, are we going to be playing against freaking 40 Tempest or something? Like, he's not... These are still the same three Stalkers as before, right? Wait, did he just lose two to one shot? That was, that's pretty cool. Um, I... Yeah, we're going to be playing against 40 Tempest, guys. I need so many Widow Mines to counter that. I can also just take a million bases. Let's see, they're not here. They might be down here somewhere. Wait, this means he doesn't have this base. Else he would be trying to protect this already, I think. Uh, the Tempest are up there. Yeah, he doesn't have this base. I can actually snipe that Tempest. Oh, oh, we did actually get it. Okay, very nice. There we go. Two Yamatos for a Tempest is enough. Yeah, we're going to have to sacrifice. I need to be very smart about this. And most importantly, I need to not make... Oh, he actually revelated those. That is very annoying. Um, okay, what... I'm actually going to bait him. This is going to be a cool move. Watch this. He's probably going to follow me around. Oh, he's going to go for the... Okay, that is a very interesting choice. Uh, I thought he was going to follow me and then I could teleport over here. Yeah, so why I'm not sacrificing SEVs yet... It's because my opponent doesn't really seem... Oh, it's DTs now. Okay, that's interesting. I was going to say, he doesn't really seem to have the intention to attack. So I can maybe just enjoy my absolutely massive economy. Um, and not really... Okay. Oh, that is... That battle cruiser is sad. That is a very sad battle cruiser. Can I get the only amount of them? Yeah, of course not. Okay. Um, but I can just enjoy my massive economy and then just go Widow Mines later. I mean, if he's going to play so passive, I am not really going to die. So I don't have to be worried about it. Though I definitely could die. And that's the scariest part, right? So now the Tempests are coming back. I'm going to move these Widow Mines to the top side already. Uh, Tempests are significantly... Yeah, they are. They're actually way faster than battle cruisers. That's pretty crazy. Okay, so he's still over here. Uh, I thought I teleported one Battlecruiser over here. I, I suppose I didn't. Um, okay, so he's still over here. I mean, if he wants to chase me, I'll just teleport on his other base. That's the thing. But he ha he also has a recall. That's the scariest part, right? I'm going to teleport to his base, but he has a recall available. So here we go. Now we're going to kill that base. And then these Widow Mines are going to cover my retreat. That's the plan. That is why this can work. Uh, he could have recalled there. It would have been very scary. But for now, we get the base for uh, pretty much free. I imagine we're going to lose a couple of these Widow Mines for it. Uh, but that's all right. Oh, oh my God. I thought he was going to fly over that for a second. That was so... Uh, that, uh, well, I was going to say scary, but more exciting, I suppose. So we're going to lose all of these Widow Mines. Dude, he has so many Tempest. Like, he has no... He has, I think he has three DTs and the rest is just Tempest. And turrets don't work against Tempest because their range is too big. Oh my, I don't know how we're going to win this game. Like this, I know we're doing good so far. As long as we don't fight straight up, we're going to be doing good. But this is a whole nother level of challenge. Now, I need to do a better job of clearing these observers. I have enough scans. I know there's observers probably everywhere. Okay, that's a DT, not an observer. Oh, he just blinked it. I mean, I'll kill it actually. Because that one is going to annoy me forever. Probably going to make another Tempest for DTs that I kill, but that's okay. I'm going to make a planetary here, so I just don't get annoyed by the DTs non-stop the entire game. Oh, wait, I'm going to hide in the corner. He might not see this move coming. He might think I'm just going around. I killed the Observer and the DT, so maybe now I can sneak in uh, over the right side. I have a couple more factories finishing, I believe. Let's get Reactor. I'm going to be able to make like 27 mines a minute, by the way, once these factories finish. That's actually crazy. Or once the Reactors finish, rather. 
Now, I don't think he knows I'm here. I'm going to try to take this base as well. I should probably... I didn't want to go for the middle one earlier because it's such a scary base to take, but I guess we might as well. Oh, let's get some Yamatos. Okay, there we go. We're going to be able to kill that base instantly, which is really nice. And then... This is a very YOLO teleport. Oh my god, I can't believe I did this. No, I need to get out of here, guys. This is not great. Oh, wait, that's actually still a slow zone. Wait, maybe? Maybe this could be the bait of the century. This could be huge. Oh, no, there's an observer right there. God, he's, he's been really good with those observers, man. He still has the, the oracle as well. Do I need to make more bat? I'm not sure if I need any more battle cruisers. I'm not kidding, guys. It's like these battle cruisers, they do the job anyway. Doesn't matter if I have like 12 or 60, but I do need a million Widow Mines. Do I ever want to kill uh, his Tempest army, right? Okay, uh, he's coming for this. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I can't really do anything against that, you know. I saw the DT, the DT was standing next to my base. That's how I knew. Where's the DT? I don't see it anymore, uh, but I know it was right there. Uh, it might be time for me to start. Oh. He didn't see my battle cruisers, which means he's probably going to back up, I think. Because he, he doesn't want to lose uh, the base on the right side, right? So I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to use two Widow Mines to try and kill the DT. So there was an Observer there as well. That's good to know. I mean, my money's starting to look insane because I have been having a fantastic economy all this time. Um, probably going to make a few more CCs in the middle, I suppose. There we go. Is the T still there? He could blink away if he's paying attention. That would actually be a very funny interaction if he blinked away there. Uh, blank, blinked, blunk. I don't even know how to say it. Doesn't matter. You guys know what I mean. Still have 82 SCVs. Do I need to keep that amount of SCVs? Probably. Like, the thing here is, the Protoss didn't really have a worse economy than me up until this point. Well, after I sniped this base, he did. But he can still mine all the bases eventually because his army is so much better than mine, right? Like, that's a scary thing. Like, I really want to know how many Tempest he has exactly, but it, because it is a freaking crazy Tempest now. And we're going to get another base here, which is really good. Now, how far are the Tempest away? Okay, the Tempest were there. I guess we'll just go for that base. Uh, I'm going to bait him. This is the time. I don't I don't mind losing a few extra battle cruisers. Oh, these Widomites need to hurry the hell up, though. But let's see. Now, yeah, now it's starting to get too many. Okay, here we go. I want to try to kill this base one more time. That's the thing. Because then he really doesn't have a good economy anymore. There we go. That base is going to die. And I have so many Widomites. Look at the Widomite army. I guess he, Oh, my God. Can I actually get under these? That'd be really nice. I just want to get some shots off. It's going to be fine. As long as I don't lose all of them. There we go. A lot of probes going down. I'm also remaking my battle cruisers for the first time. I mean, at some point, the scary moment is going to come when he's just going to push through the middle. So I'm going to make a million of those thingies here. I'm going to put some Widow Mines there as well. Is he following me? He's not chasing me. Uh, I don't actually have that many SCV. Where's the rest of my SCV? I must have so many somewhere. So there's a few extras here and a few extras there. I'm going to use those to repair. I don't know how smart it is to hide random Widow Mines on the map instead of keeping them together as a big group. And I say that mostly because he has so many freaking observers, it seems like. Like, every time I made a move, he saw it. Unless I actively found the observer and killed it. Got some more sensor towers, I suppose. Um, maybe I could put a Widow Mine on this base as well so he can't take that. There's an observer, I saw it. There we go, that dies. And I'm going to move these Widow Mines, of course. Because he will come with a revelation. Still have 82 SCVs. Um, I got a few more battle cruisers on the way. I, I say it very casually. Like, you have to be so rich to do that. But I am rich enough that I can actually produce battle cruisers from seven starports, you know. Dude, how many Tempest is this? He also has 333. He also has the third upgrade for the shields at this point. Which is not an upgrade you see very frequently. Um, I guess I'll send the... Actually, I'll send these to the middle. That should be fine. This base is pretty vulnerable. You know what's actually a good unit against DTs, by the way? You might not think about it, but it's actually the Widow Mine. You can put a turret anywhere and just a Widow Mine next to it, and it will take care of DTs. Now, I need to find observers more than anything else. I just want to kill every single... Yeah, he has so many. I really feel like he has 10 observers on the map, which is very smart. That's totally what he should be doing. Uh, but I need to try and hunt him down. So that observer is over there. I have about 20 Widow Mines. Let's see. Oh, he's actually on patrol. That's interesting. Yeah, I can't go for it. I need to be very careful. Um... Or, or, wait, he split his forces. The Oracle is not there. Is this the time, guys? I mean, this would be so crazy for me to do, by the way. I I think he has two groups. Now, I'm, I'm, actually, he's going to allow me to kill this middle base, which is very, very nice. Here we go. I'm going to try to burrow under the Tempest. Maybe I can get the Oracle if he's not paying attention. Okay, so this base is going to fall 100%. Look how much time it actually takes him to clear those Widow Mines up. It's fantastic. Because I am able to kill this base now. I do need to get the hell out of there. I did predict... Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to teleport out. Uh, that base... I mean, I keep losing, like, you know, 20 Widowmines and 2 Battlecruisers for a base, but it is still worth it because I'm just so freaking rich. Oh, let's repair these bad boys back up. Put one Widowmine here. I feel like even if I get 
some really random small hits on Tempest is gonna be good for me. Like at some point I'm gonna have to kill that entire army. But yeah, I think it's time for me to lose some um, some SCVs now. Like he's starting to get to the point where he might get frustrated. Uh, so I'm gonna aim with a bunch of SCVs and try to lose them all. Oh, I don't need to repair these battle cruisers up still. Some of those are still low HP. I feel like I I need maybe 30 with the mines. It sounds absurd, but I think I need like 30 Widow Mines to be able to attack his Tempest, maybe flank them. He has 30 plus Tempest, guys. I, I can't kill that without a gajillion million Widow Mines. This game is already 25 minutes long and I still haven't... Like, I'm refusing to fight him, okay? I'm never going to fight him until I have to, until I have so many Widow Mines uh, that I can block out the sun, even though they don't even fly. Guess I'll need medevacs for that. Um... What is my next priority? I know he has to... Wait, should I have some Widow Mine Harassment, maybe? Oh, he's actually attacking on the left side. Okay. Then I'm going to go on the right side with my army and send a few Widow Mines here. Like, the thing is, wherever he goes, he he will kill whatever is on his path, right? Like, if, if there's 10 command centers, he will kill those. Doesn't matter how many there are. Uh, so I need to keep distracting him. That... that okay, that is actually his entire army, I was going to say. Maybe I can burrow these Widow Mines here. You never know. Then I'm going to try to kill these DTs with these uh, Widow Mines over here. Because they have been absolutely annoying. Or is it just one DT? Oh, it's an the other thing is an Observer. Okay. Here we go. Maybe I can actually snipe it. He's trying to micro against my Widow Mines with the Observer. Oh, no. There's lag. Please not now. This is not the time to be lagging. Okay. I, I, I think it was just me for a little bit. I'm not 100% sure. The game still continued. So I think it had to be me. Um, can I actually get that base? I know it would be crazy, but I would love to get that base. All these Widow Mines actually fired, looks like. Get that over there. It would be nice if I killed that DT without being able to look at it. That would be very pleasant. Okay, let's see. He does have... Oh, that's a DT. Wait, maybe? If there's no Observer? Okay. Wait, he's here. Ah. Crap, that's so... Dude, he has enough Tempest on each side to just absolutely ravage me. Wait. Ah, oh, no, he has an Observer, right? Or not? Guys? Guys? Is it finally time? Come on, a little bit closer. No, why did the CC die already? Come on, man. That is just not cool. Yeah, I think we're just going to go for it, actually. Um, Here we go. I'm going to teleport over there. And then the Widow Mines are going to come on the flank. Let's see how many teleports I can get. Or how many Yamatas. There we go. We get Wait, he recalled here. Guys, he recalled here. Oh, it's just a couple Tempests, actually. Here we go. Widow Mines are going to shoot all over these Tempests. Okay, didn't actually kill that many off, if any. But I think this trade was actually a decent trade and we can get away oh no we can't get away with the widow mines okay because of this group of tempest over here i was gonna say we're even gonna get away with the widow mines here but uh, i had to burrow them to save my wait did i okay i was gonna say did i kill an observer on accident or something we are starting to get more poor though this is not easy guys i think at this point he's probably as rich as us because his trades are j oh no he's actually coming because his trades are just so freaking good I mean, I'm going to fly more CCs over here because he's going to try to attack that. How many Widow Mites am I going to have? Let's let's drop a couple of mules, actually. Uh, that base is dead, which is kind of annoying. Maybe I should have tried to teleport on this flank. I think what I need to have happen is that he splits his army or spreads his army a little bit too thin. And then I can teleport on one part and kill it off. Wait, is this... Guys, please... One time. I think it's a little bit... Oh, of course he has another reserve over here. Man, yeah. why is he so good? I don't like it anymore, guys. This is, this is starting to get annoying, Mr. Zero, wasn't it? Yeah, Mr. Zero. Yes. All right. Yes, well, I do like that he's playing good because he greeted me with a heart at the start of the game. So it's probably a very nice lad. Oh my God, I have so many Widow Mines at this point. I need, I need to start spreading my units, though. Uh, I think it's time... Well, he does have two groups of Tempest, which makes it almost impossible for me to spread. But it's just a little bit too easy for him to keep track of where my stuff is. Oh, come on please let me kill the dt at least no why is he like this okay so he has a dt over there i am slowly starting to run out of command senders but not yet um what is my play think i really need to think here what is my play i need a play that can win me this game uh rather than just get trades now because i, I think the economy game is over we, we have actually been beaten in the economy game and what i have to do now is kill his entire army with my Widow Mines. I mean, my army is massive right now, okay? Our army is actually bigger than his for, like, the first time this game. Uh, because, you know, he sacrificed his Stalkers and stuff very early on to make pure, pure Tempest. But now, I have 178 army supply, all right? I have so many battlefields and Widow Mines. All right, let's see. So I'm going to kill that one over there. I yeah. I, the thing is, wait, maybe I should be killing these rocks. I think that's probably the best thing I can do because now we do want to look for a fight. 
I think I have to start killing these rocks. I'm going to try a little bit more harassment here. Uh, because if I kill these rocks, my Widow Mines will be way easier to maneuver, right? Uh, try to take this space as well at this point. Oh, it's temperature right there. That's, that's very unfortunate. Maybe that will allow us to kill that other base, though. Wait, where did these Widow Mines go? Oh, here they are. Get some turrets up. Uh, the rest of the Widow Mines is here. I mean, I do see potential for a play. Oh my god, he's not paying attention for a second. Here we go. There's a lot of Yamatos going on, which is beautiful. What does he have over here? I think it's time. I think we just have to... Wait, okay, there we go. I, this is a very crazy move what I did here, guys. This is a freaking insane move. I can tell you guys that much. I'm going to put the Widow Mines here. So please kill that freaking pylon. I think I'm targeting the pylon. I can't see. There we go. Now the pylon's finally going to go down. And I'm going to be able to take down this base, which is really nice. Obviously, I did lose a lot for it, though. But it might have been a worthwhile move. Uh, I don't actually... Okay, I, I pressed the wrong button. For a second, I thought I didn't have any scans. But obviously, I do have a scan. Let's try to kill that. There we go. The command center or the nexus does fall. Um, I I don't know, guys. I, I think Zero has gotten us. I think he has played the perfect game. And there there's just nothing we can do anymore. Uh, I think I, I have one more plan. Which is not a good plan. Uh, <laughs> it sounds really depressing to say, right? But I think the, the only thing I can possibly do... Yeah, I, no, I don't think I can work, actually. I was going to say, the only thing I can possibly do is make so many battle cruisers that I can out Yamato one side. But it's just a little bit too easy for him to recall. And I don't think we can actually win the game like that, you know? Like, if I, if I teleport on one a group of Tempest and it's too much, he can also just recall to the other base. Now, I really need to have this base no matter what. Like, there's no other option. I must have that base, uh, 100%. Uh, he does have his Tempest together now. Wait, where's the DT? Please die to a Widow Mine or something. Come on, bro. All right, thank you. Hey, actually, listen. I appreciate that. I mean, I'm going to get... Okay, we need to drop so many mules here. It's very risky because I, you know, I need to actually have scans and stuff. But I, I'm going to max out on BC. I think it's my only chance. He's been simply too good. I actually think Battlecruiser Widow Mine is decent against Mass Tempest. But my, my opponent has simply been too good. Like, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to be overly nice to him, but that's that's just how I see it. I feel like against a lot of players, I could win with Battlecruiser Widowmine, but he just never gave my Widowmine the chance to even do anything at all. Now, I need to retake a base on the left. Well, I don't actually have money there. I'll try to take that one. I can also mule a lot in the middle. Yes, that's a thing. How is that even allowed in this map? I guess I have to kill these rocks for that not to happen. Okay, that's kind of crazy, though. You have to kill these rocks or your mules get stuck. That is not that is not my favorite design ever. Let me tell you guys that much, okay? I, th I think that could have been done a little bit better. All right, so we're completely out of money. Um, or we're out of bank, but we have money. Tempers are there. Uh, I'm okay with it, though. Let's see. He's probably trying to... I want to teleport there, but... It's not going to be in time because you can recall the Tempest because the base already finished. That is quite annoying. Uh, I need to make sure I never spend my teleport too early. Cooldown on that's just a little bit too big. Uh, let's see. I'm going to retake this base instantly. That's, that's just the best thing I can do. Uh, I could maybe make just a couple of Widomines and spread them on the map. He probably has a DT here if I had to guess. There we go. If he's hopefully going to die. There we go. Uh, and then I'm going to fly back. Like, I don't actually want to fight the Tempest at all. I have 50... Dude, I have 184 supply of battle cruisers right now, okay? Well, a lot of it is still in production, but that's okay. Should I just keep making bases? I mean, like, this seems like my best option yet, right? Like, it's the best possible plan I have. Just gonna retake these bases all the time. And every time he kills it... How many is this? That is not enough. Here we go, baby. It, it, did it actually happen, guys? Yeah, there's the recall. That's exactly what I'm talking about. He's just... A little bit too on top of things uh, and the worst part is is that protoss can actually and this is where the mothership is super super good protoss can make two recalls if they build a mothership because then they can recall somewhere and then to the mothership uh, the mothership can even have two recalls if i'm not mistaken because it's i think it's just energy based right um oh wait wait he actually came back okay that's kind of crazy I'm pretty surprised he came back there uh, but yeah this that is the biggest problem right now i'm completely out of money as well because I made these command centers. I still think it's a pretty decent choice, though. Because I need to keep making bases. Um, did he? Maybe he wasn't scouting there for a second. Okay, I'm going to move this a little bit uh, closer to my own base. Yeah, the thing is, he, he just has observers and stuff everywhere. So I can never really get around being... Yo, this is actually hella annoying. 
That is not a good design. Please get rid of that. Oh my goodness. Why does my stuff keep getting stuck? But guys, here... Okay, this is actually very nice because he used the recall of the Nexus. And I don't think he has a mothership. So now we're going to be able to kill this base. Uh, that's one thing Battlecruisers are better at than Tempest. It's, it's killing buildings, basically, right? So Tempest win the 1v1 very handily. Uh, but Tempest do not kill bases very fast at all. So if he base trades me, that would be like the first good situation for the Battlecruiser. Now, I want to teleport on the right side, but that's very risky. Let's see, he's just following me. Okay, he's not following me anymore. He does have a pylon over here. Uh, yeah, the thing is, I can't really risk teleporting too early. Yeah, I wonder if it's a good idea to just have like five Widow Mines, just to potentially block uh, his path out, you know? Okay, let's see, he's following me until the edge of the earth, pretty much. Here we go. I'm just gonna go for it. I, I think I need to make a play here. Oh, this base actually doesn't have much money left, so it's probably not worth staying here. I'm just gonna move up then. Uh, these Widow Mines are gonna finish in time. Uh, Widow Mines built very, very fast, by the way, if you guys didn't know. So these are gonna finish in time. Let's get these to be orbitals, and then I'll just fly away. Oh, wait, I mean, if he wants to attack this, I'm actually okay with that. He's gonna kill a lot of these bases, but I can kill his bases too, right? So yeah, I have one of those thingies here. I still have a lot of mules going on here. Let's see, is he gonna come back for this? I mean, if he doesn't come back... Okay, he doesn't look like he wants to. Now he's coming back. Uh, then I'm also gonna go back, obviously. I have the advantage here uh, in terms of base trading, like I've said. I'm gonna get all these Widow Mines here. He probably has Observers, but... Uh, oh, the freaking DTs, man. I can't believe the DTs actually worked as Observers this game, too. That is so crazy. Wait, I don't have a teleport yet. Um, I can teleport again soon to, like, the bottom base. I'm gonna remake these Widow Mines, though. Like, I know they don't seem very useful, but I need them to hold the position for me. Let's try to go here. I'm also gonna drop a bunch of mules here. He does have one Tempest over there. So it's gonna kill... Dude, it actually gets one shot. That's pretty crazy. I like how I'm just hiding over here. Like, please, please leave me alone kind of thing, you know? Okay, I'm gonna move this base over there. Another base can go here. What is that? Oh, that's actually my SCVs. Okay. Um, I think... Wait... If we could get into the main while he's not paying attention, that could be huge, right? If we get into the main, we're going to be able to do a lot of damage. Let's see, I'm going to put these Widow Mines here. Oh, he does have the Oracle. Wait, he's actually got... Ooh, for a second, I thought he was going to waste the Oracle there. Imagine, that would have been so huge. If, if I had to guess, he's moving to the left side now because he sees that command center. He's just trying to hunt down my CCs. Let's see, okay. Yeah, he's actually going to go there. I'm going to try to get into the main base. I can't really let him have the middle bottom base, though. That'd be pretty devastating. But I don't have enough Widow Mines to make sure that he doesn't. Let's see, I'm just going to kill this Nexus, and then I'm going to dip. All right. I mean, if he gets too close with half his Tempest, I can get a lot of Yamato off. Right now, I have... What is this? 28 Battlecruiser? Okay, that's a freaking crazy Battlecruiser count. So that is just one Tempest. That is all right. Kind of running out of mules here, though, so I need to be very careful here. He's trying to chase me down. I wonder if I can use one Battlecruiser just to uh, Yamato the Oracle. Because the Oracle is going to be trying to find me. Yeah, it's actually come Wait, maybe I can... If I'm lucky, I can skirmish through the side and get into the main base. Okay, look at this. He's going to find me? Oh, it's so close, actually. Okay, we're going to be able to get into the main base. That's really nice. Let's see how many of these bases I can save. Probably one or zero. Uh, yeah, probably more like zero. Okay, here we go. This gets to be some Yamatos. Another Yamato. Okay, we got two Tempos for that. That's really nice. Maybe he's not paying attention or if he micros a little bit too far forward. Okay, let's see. Get some Yamatos off and then I'm out. Okay, we got a decent amount, I think. Not that many, but a decent amount. And we're out. God, this is going to be so freaking hard. I do have money for a few more. Now, let's try to get this base back over there. You can land over here and you can go all the way around. I do need to repair these battle cruisers because it's cheaper. Let's see, is he going to come to kill... I mean, he should be killing the middle right now. This is actually my most... It's really funny. This is my most valuable base in the middle here, which sounds crazy, but it really is. Okay, so he's over there with a couple of his units. The SCVs aren't really doing that much. Like, I'm mostly mined by mules, so I don't really need uh, these SCVs to keep mining. So he does find that base. That's pretty rough. Uh, let's drop a few more mules here before this base goes down. God, how many Tempest does he have? Pro yeah, I mean, he probably has at least 30, right? He has more Tempest than I have Battlecruisers, and that means that I can't win the fight. The scariest thing, guys, he has the base in the middle bottom, uh, and that is not a base I can kill right now. I I'm just trying to think what my possible winning play could be. It has to be something with Widow Mind still. Like, you can see the Battlecruisers just don't fight against the Tempest, right? That's, that's the biggest problem. 
Um, I'm actually not. Yeah, I'm just not gonna repair these. I need to have enough time. Here we go. Let's drop all the mules I have. Well, it seems like he's not attacking the middle still. He, he really should be, by the way. I'm actually gonna just uh, make a bunch of SCVs here because um, it's gonna give me a little bit more sustained mining. So he's gonna kill this base now. Judging, this is actually the scariest thing as well. I thought it was this base, but he has more money in the bank than I thought. And I could tell because of the position of these Tempests. These Tempests came from his Stargates. Uh, else they would be together with his army because he didn't split it like that. Uh, he would never split four Tempest and then 30 in the other group, right? So he has still been making... That was four Tempest he just built, which means he still had a bank. At this point, it may be exhausted, uh, but I can say that with full confidence. Okay, so now he's in the middle. It's still too many Tempest for me to fight. That's a really big problem. Let's see. I think I'm going to try to move this base around. Like, he has the Watchtower, and the Watchtower allows him to just keep killing my stuff uh, for free, basically. It's so annoying. I mean, I can still mine from this base from a distance. That's fine. Uh, I need to be very... Yeah, he does have vision there. That's what I thought. The DTs have been so good at getting vision. Observers and DTs have been... The, not even the Tempest, by the way. Like, really, the DTs and the Observers have been uh, the absolute MVPs here. I'm going to get another battle cruiser. I'm going to go up to 26 BCs. I have... Oh, man, I only have... No, I can't even fly that away anymore. I only have three orbitals left, guys. What am I supposed to do with three orbitals? They're slowly going to die as well. Uh, I do think I really need to go for the bottom base, but I can't use my teleport for it. How much money do I have? Should I even make a supply depot at this point? I don't even know. I should, I should definitely be mining from that gas, though. That is a little bit of a mistake. Maybe I should go by the edge of the map and try to snipe that base. I mean, that base is just only mining. He, he is mining more than me, but actually not really by that much because he is just mining from that one base. This one is mined out. If I was him, excuse me, I would probably be taking that base as well at this point. So I need to keep that in mind that he could have that one. All right, let's go via the bottom here. Uh, should I make a depot? I could also... Maybe I should start making command centers in the main base, you know? Because there, they're actually going to be able to stay alive. Which might be more important than trying to mine from bases at this point. Okay, so that's an oracle. That's also a lot of Tempest. Okay, so we might be able to snipe his base now. Let's see, he's flying back. Yeah, he's... I feel like he's so smart with the movement, guys. Really, I wanted to give this guy a huge compliment. Because he never uh, just, like, randomly is out there to die, right? Okay, let's see. He's not going to come back in time. So that's nice. Maybe if I'm lucky, I could get a few Yamatos off. Here we go. He's not paying attention for a second. Come on. Okay. I mean, oh, that's actually a lot of Yamatos going off. Look at that. Okay, not the best micro there. Very, very nice. Wait, that one. Oh, no. I didn't have it on the hotkey, I guess. Uh, but that was a lot of Yamatos getting off, guys. That was fantastic. Can I actually afford to repair those? I mean, probably. Let's get the red ones over here. And wait, do I... Oh, that's actually a more than I thought, unfortunately. I mean, Tempest do an incredible amount of damage to these, right? So, I should, I should not be making any more BCs, actually. Like, I don't have money uh, to repair if I keep making battle cruisers, so I shouldn't. Does he have... He didn't take that base. I think he could have that one. Okay, let's make... Uh, wait. Oh, I made a command center that I didn't realize. Oh, I did lose my barracks. Okay, that actually sucks. <laughs> I, I, when did I lose that? You know, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I feel like I floated my barracks to his side of the map like 30 minutes ago. Like, how, how have I been able to make orbitals all this time? I have no idea. Need to be very careful with the movement on these, by the way. I'm just going to scan. Yeah, I figured he was going to be sitting on the middle. Maybe we have reached a point where he is too scared to move out because he keeps losing his base. Um, yeah, I, I mean, he can also just retake that base pretty easily, though. That's that's pretty scary. Um, do, I have, do I have any mining anywhere, really? I, I guess I still have some minerals here. Maybe... Oh, this... Oh, wait, guys. He's not going to expect this because I ha it's not a great move. Yes, but I haven't done it at all this game, so he's not going to expect it. Which might make it a great move. He's not going to think I'll split my units, right? So here, once he sees these battle cruisers pop up in maybe like his main base, he's going to attack them. He never took this base. That's really good news. He's going to try to attack these. Um, and then my four BCs might be able to deny his base again. I mean, I could try to take another base, but it's just... I'm not really sure if it's worth it, to be honest. Okay, there we go. Let's get that to be an orbital. Where did the other one go, even? Okay, there is one. I guess it could have been that one. Okay, here we go. Tempest are probably still in the middle, if I had to guess. Man, he actually has so many Stargates. He has 10 Stargates! I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh, no, he's here. Oh, nice. We got one of the Tempest already. That's really good. And now these are going to go in. I need to be very careful. Okay, this. I need to time this perfectly. This is, a, this is a distraction maneuver here. Now I'm attacking there. And now he might stop paying attention here. Exactly. We're going to get all the Yamatos off. And then we teleport back. That's a really good trade. And we're going to kill the base. 
Um, yeah, I, I still need to get some more gas, though. That's a big problem here. But the base does go down, and that is the most important thing. You see, he was actually still producing Tempest. Uh, and I did lose a bunch of my battle cruisers there, which really sucks. I mean, he is obviously dry on money. Is he dry enough? I don't know. It, it, it's really crazy, but my best thing to do might actually be to build SEVs. Right? I think he's going to find me. I'm going to hide as much in the corner as I can as soon as I see something I'm out. Okay, he hasn't found me. That's pretty big. I mean, don't tell anyone we're here, I suppose. I'm going to try to get that. Oh, oh, wait. Dude, I saw something on the minimap and I was like, oh, no, he found me. But no, he's actually going there. He's going to be able to kill a few more bases. That's annoying. I'm going to fly these to the main base as well. I'm going to make more here. And now we're going to be able to go back to that base and kill it, which is super nice. Um, I actually can use my Yamatos for this one. Here we go. That base is going to fall pretty fast. Okay, this is really nice, guys. I didn't think we were going to kill that base again, uh, but we do get the kill again, which is fantastic. And I'm going to attack on the right side. We're going to be fine. Wait. Oh, he's maybe not paying attention there. I'm going to teleport in front of him. This is the move, maybe. Here we go. He's not recalling yet, guys. Let's see. Oh, can I get a few of these? I'm actually going to get a couple Tempests here, guys. This is fantastic. He's chasing these. He's losing so many Tempests here. Look at this. Maybe five Tempests going down. There we go. He did kill those PCs in the main, but I think that's a really good trade because of the snowball count more than anything else. Wait, still? Wait, maybe I can kill that one? Okay, we do get that one. That's really nice. I might have to teleport out, actually. I'm not sure how close he is. Going to be able to mine from this gas town. Let's... Oh, I don't have a teleport yet. If he's going to chase me... I'm very tempted to teleport on his bottom base again, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to teleport here. Because that way... Oh, those don't have teleport yet. I should have... Why is he chasing me? He's crazy. He's going to lose his bottom base for free if I teleported there. But I didn't. Oh, that sucks for me, guys. Oh, I don't have any mining here. Maybe I can try to mine from this one. He did find these battle cruisers as well. Oh, that didn't turn out being a good trade. Um, he, do he doesn't have a recall, but I can't go on. I think... This one hurts because I think that was one of his first mistakes. But he didn't get punished for it because I teleported to here instead of his base. But actually, looking by it, he had, he's maxed on Tempest again. Yeah, oh no. He just had a little bit too much money, guys. I, I think he's got on us at this point. I feel like I had some hope here. Uh, but he, he was still able to remax on Tempest. I think the efficiency in this game is going to be freaking disgusting to see, by the way. Like, it's going to be, uh, I don't know like 40k in his favor is something absurd yeah now he just has too many i mean i can try to go again i'm actually gonna cancel that i really think the only way i can win a fight is with widow mines uh, so i'm gonna try to make more widow mines here you guys go back to mining please there you go man this game is freaking 50 minutes long i do have another uh coban sender which could help me out if he doesn't expect it he's getting these these slowly I mean, can I ever kill enough of his detection? That That's what I don't think, you know? Like, if I could maybe get all of his observers. But what he did, really, really well done by him there, is he just has one oracle, and I think it's two observers. Okay, he actually saw me here. He has one oracle and two observers just clicked on his Tempest. So even if he, like, uh, uses his entire army group of Tempest, he still uh, is not going to lose all of his detection because he has it there. I'm just going to make a bunch of Widow Mines. I would like to put these in the middle, but I don't know how many observers he has exactly. Like, I really think he has a good amount of observers. Let's drop all of my mules there. I'm even going to forget about the scans. I, I just need money. That, 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 that's all, you know? I, I know I've mined more of this map than him, but I still don't have enough money to potentially win this game. Um, these widow mines, I want to burrow them in the middle. Um, but I want to check if there's an observer first, because if he sees them... That kind of ruins all of it. Like, I, I can't really get to the critical Widow Mine count anymore where I can just straight up burrow them under his Tempest and kill them. Like, I think we're way beyond that point. I'm just going to scan here. There is no Tempest to be seen. That is very nice. Um, and since he... Actually, this is, this is an important point. Since he clicked the Observers and the Oracles on the Tempest... They're not going to fly ahead and see the mines first. That's something we need to keep in mind. Now, he's letting me mine from that base, like, way too much. Okay, there we go. He's finally going to kill it. Probably escape with some of these SCVs, I hope. Now, Tempest do have a lot of range, so maybe not. You guys, this is actually a possibility. I, th I think it could happen. I mean, th I think this is my last chance right here. Dude, I even have more Widomites. Come on. Just once. Please. Fly over them. Okay, well... Oh, barely not. Come on, dude. This is so frustrating let me kill all your tempest just once sheesh 
All right, I think we have one more base to fly, right? Yeah, we have one more base to fl uh, fly over there. I mean, I have a... Oh, I actually uh, revelated these, so I'm going to forget about that. Now, I have a lot of Widow Mines, so I could try to go for one more attack. Uh, but obviously, I'm not going to even risk that when they're revelated. That would be uh, a pretty silly mistake to make. Now, that is my last base flying over. I do have a couple more mules here. I guess we'll just drop them. Uh, I don't have any gas to make... Yeah, widow mines with though. There you go. Look at my look at my resources, guys. Thirty minerals and three gas. That has to be one of the saddest <laughs> resources scouts I've seen. Now I feel like if I get another fish tempest, if he fights now, oh yeah, I did the move again. I made two sensor towers next to each other. Nice. That's a that's a classic at this point. If I get another enough of his tempest at once, we might get to a situation where he has to be scared, right? Because then I'll have enough battle cruisers. Okay, wait, guys. This is it. Okay. This, 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 this is literally... This is it. Right now. Right here. These Widow Mines. This army of stuff. That is actually it. I don't even have a scan for this one. Uh, wait. wait that, oh, that doesn't have a scan. Okay, there we go. That one's gonna die. I don't think he's gonna fly over there, but th th this is actually like the last hope right there. These Widow Mines. Okay. We got the Oracle. Okay, that is something, guys. We got the Oracle. He, 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 I think he's too scared to actually try go for these. Okay, yeah, let's see. Uh, I'm going to scout with a mule, actually. If he wants to kill that, I can give it a shot. Okay, if he wants to kill the command center... Okay, I, th I think it's time. I think we just have to go for it. That way of mine is actually a pretty good spot there. Here we go. He's scared. Look at that. Dude, he is maxed out on Tempest, and he's scared of my couple of minimites. That looks very funny. Okay, let's see. I mean, should I... I guess I could probably recare this battle cruiser. Wait, will it just die? Oh, I guess it's the freaking... Dude, these DTs, man. Oh my, I feel like every unit he has has been annoying me this game. All right, well, I mean, this is the final opportunity here. I'm going to try to kill the base in the bottom left. Let's see if I can... It's probably... Oh, that's a... oh it's a probe. Okay, he's, he's starting to run out of money, guys. He's, he used the probe for that. Okay, let's see. Maybe if I can distract him enough. Probably not. Here we go. Guys. No, he, actually... he looked instantly. Man, he is babysitting these things, all right? Is that another oracle? He does have another oracle as well. Okay, he might recall here. See? Yeah, he has a freaking DT just chilling there as well. That's very annoying. See? Okay, he actually came back. Okay, we're going to be able to kill this base, I think. Jeez, this game has just been absurd, guys. What can I say? This has been, like, the most absurd game, yeah, maybe ever on the YouTube. Like, not even in this show, just, like, ever. It's almost an hour long. If you guys are still watching this, you guys are absolute troopers, by the way. Respect. Now, the problem is, I don't have a scan to kill the... I think that might be, like, his last DT. Like, actually, I think it could be. But I don't have a scan to kill it. I really need to kill that Dark Templar, because it's scouting everything right now. But I don't have the scan to do it. Wait, is he still on the watchtower? He is, right? Yeah, he's still just chilling it. That's actually so annoying. Wait, is he... Oh, he, ju he just teleported away. It's, it's like he can read my energy, man. That's actually messed up. Okay, here we go. One chance while he revelated those instantly. Yeah. Guys, I tried my best and I gave it my all. Every single hope that I had, I used it. But now that was actually our final play. And, and I think that's going to be it. I mean, I'm obviously going to try to go until my last unit is dead. Um, but yeah, at this point, I mean, he has so many tempests. I think even now, this entire game, if I could have killed this army with my Widow Binds uh, or got like a really fan hit on them, I think there would have been a chance. But at this point, I, I think even if I get that fat hit, there's no chance I win. I, I don't have command centers anymore. I'm literally out of command centers. Yeah, I'm actually going to go for this base. Uh, I mean, if there was ever a chance, then we're just going to have to YOLO it. And that's the only way it'll ever happen. So here we go. It's time to just YOLO it. I don't, I don't have a scan. I can't see anything whatsoever. I mean, the base... The, I mean, to be fair, he doesn't have economy. So I don't necessarily have to rush it, but... Do I have a single... I don't have a single SCV. I can make one more win of mine, I suppose. All right, here we go. But, okay. Well, he is clumping up a lot. Here we go. The win of mine. Get on top. I mean, he, he's not even shooting anymore because he's scared. Can we get some shots? Uh, oh, we got two, I guess. Yeah, he's just being a little bit too good with it, guys. That's all I can say. I mean, I, I don't want to say this has been like a mistake of the composition or anything. Like, I quite literally just want to give... All the respect to my opponent because that's it. I'm gonna teleport on the other side, so he might be forced to come back into this widow mines. He's not even gonna try it though. He knows I need the widow mines to connect. He knows there's no other hope here. I mean, I do have him surrounded a little bit. Is it enough? Yo, he is actually. He's gonna take so much. Look at this. Oh my god, that's what I needed this entire game, but it's not enough. 
GG, very well played. He deserves it. There you go. Applause to Zero, guys. He played absolutely fantastic. And oh my god, the most brutal resources. I think that's actually the most brutal I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen that. More than 100k resources lost. Have you guys ever seen that? Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating ever. I don't remember ever seeing that. That's freaking crazy. More than double. 50k against 104k. I mean, he didn't have a bank left. He was 147 supply. I mean, it was relatively close, I want to say. Like, he played perfect. I think one better engagement we could have won. But for now, honestly, you guys are still watching. You're crazy. But I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, and yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I held on playing another game after this. I did like a freaking full vacation after that. But thank you guys so much. Make sure to give it a like. Subscribe to, to the channel. And get the hell out of there. Your mental energy must be drained. Adios.